Welcome back friends. Today we will learn the shutter speed. It is time in the exposure triangle because it controls the time in which the light can enter the camera and reach the image sensor. If we need more light, we leave the shutter open for a long time. And if we need less light, we fasten the shutter speed. It is measured in fractions of seconds like the 20th of a second or 50th of a second. Where aperture controls the area through which the light can enter the lens and reach the sensor, the shutter speed controls the time duration the light can enter the camera and expose the sensor. It also controls how much time the light can stay on the sensor. In other words, the length of time that the shutter is open is the shutter speed. This is how it looks. You can see how quickly the shutter opens and closes. This is the time when light can enter and reach the sensor. The speed is calculated in fractions of a second like 150th or 160th or maybe 120th and so on. Yes, it is really fast. I mean, you will be surprised. Like in today's cameras, there are more than thousands of a second. And you decide the duration of time you want the shutter to open. This depends on the lighting conditions and also the speed of your object. The general rule of thumb is your shutter speed should be the double the number of frames per second you have set. We will discuss it in the upcoming lesson when we learn frames per second. So just to rephrase if it is still not clear. The shutter remains closed in the camera and according to the time set by you or the auto mode of the camera, the shutter will open for that particular time and allow the light to enter and reach the image sensor. You can achieve great results with low shutter speed too if used properly and I'm sure you will soon start taking these amazing images. Leaving the shutter open during low light situations gives more time to the sensor to capture an image. And if you take images of moving vehicles with a very low shutter speed, you can take a picture like this. They are called light trails and they look amazing when taken with the person in the forefront. If you keep the shutter speed normal, you can get the motion blur of moving objects. So it completes our exposure triangle. I hope you have a better understanding of the exposure triangle now. Let's just recap. The ISO is to manage light sensitivity for the image sensor and it is digitally managed. Lower the ISO, clearer the image and if we increase the ISO just for the sake of taking the image, it adds noise. Aperture decides the area through which the light can enter. It also creates a depth of field and makes the background clear or blur if we increase or decrease the f-stop value. Shutter speed decides the time and the duration for which the light can enter. It also makes image sharp and blurred just because of the speed. And now we have completed the most important part of cinematography. I hope the exposure triangle and image sensor is clear to you. It is now time to pick up your camera and start taking images and make videos. I am sure you will see some difference in your photography. And it will only improve from here on. There are a lot of things to learn. I'll see you tomorrow with a new lesson. Till then, good luck and have fun.